Hello, everyone. Welcome to Desayogi. In this class, I will show you a very simple way to connect with our body, most especially for us that are quite stiff, a little bit not so flexible. I want to say inflexible, but not so flexible. And for people that are starting to do yoga. Vika is a younger, he says that actions, we're going to be working with actions, and he defined actions are movement with intelligence. So the more we use our intelligence, we're going to perform the different asanas in a very safe way. That's why we're just showing you this way to practice, basically. And um, not only a safe way, but an easy way, in a very accessible way for every people. So this is why because Sajengar, he took the time and he uses intelligence to develop all these props. Easy is also called, many people call Ayengar yoga like furniture yoga, because you can basically use every furniture in your house to do some yoga. Before we get started, if you enjoy this video and find it helpful, please give it a like. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe and don't forget to click the bell so that you are notified when the new videos are uploaded. Now let's get started. So let's begin today with some very simple asanas. When we feel stiff, even by sitting down, as I am right now, I'm on top of two blankets, most of the time there will be a lot of tension in the lower back, there will be a lot of tension in the hamstring, there will be a lot of tension in the shoulders, so you will find yourself like sitting like this. It's totally normal. There is no good or wrong. How do we do this? We will like split things slowly. So the first thing that I will show you is to sit on a chair. So find a chair at your place. And let's just begin with a simple sitting. So the way we sit, if we are in the computer like this, not so good for the breathing. If I try to breathe, it doesn't happen. So the first thing that I need to do is to make my spine straight. We try to find a straight line between the spine, the neck, and the head. And we bring the shoulder blades forward. And we let the shoulders to spread out and back. Simple. We try to keep a straight trunk. If I bring my hands to my knees, I can pull, I can try to like do the action of pulling by increasing the connection of the shoulder blades, by lifting up the sternum bone, and I exhale to relax the tension of the ribcage. I see how I breathe, there should be some expansion in the ribcage, the air should go to the top of the chest. I will open my legs wider than my hip because I will slowly start like connecting to that tension in the lower back. So I will just like turn the chair for you guys to see. I want to sit on my seat bones. So what are my seat bones? Those bones are like around my hips. So I really want to make sure that I hook them at the edge of the chair and I try to find a straight spine. As I'm opening my legs to the side, I will bring my hands to my knees and I will start slowly using my hip and tilting my hip forward until I bring my elbows to the knees. You can see here that probably some of you might be like this round. So I will ask you to do a really round back, super round back, tuck your tailbone in, bring your forward, your head forward as you exhale. And then as you inhale, you will roll, push the seat bone down to the chair, put the feet down to the floor, and bring your shoulders back as you are like, bringing the spine into the body to try to create a straight line. Pushing the shoulders down to the elbows and creating a nice lift in the neck, looking up. With this straight spine, you will slowly come forward. Come forward, come forward until you think you can. If you have two blocks close, bring them with you because this will also help you to bring your hands down and do it slowly. So at the moment, we are doing a forward bend, or we're doing a flexion, as we say in anatomy. And the idea is like we are lengthening the spine, understanding that we're t -t tilting the hip, okay? Forward, I bring my elbows here first, shoulders back, 
open the chest, straight neck, and then I will just bring my hands down. I find the connection between my feet and the pushing of my hand as I'm just like bringing my shoulders back and understanding the movement of the shoulders that will help you to lengthen the size of the trunk. Super easy. Again, if you're too tight, increase the tightness by rounding the spine and exhaling. And as you are like really compacting yourself fully, then let the body to go in the opposite direction. So if you are tight, go into the easiness of the body. Okay, so much tension. Keep going in the tension and then see what happens when you're going in the opposite direction. So again, Pressing my feet, pressing my seat bones, resisting in the shoulders to open. And breathe there, actively doing actions in the body to create a straight spine, a full connection with the feet. And from there, as I'm already like warming up, going forward, you can just try a few times like going down, up, down. I will bring my legs a little bit closer because I want to hold my rib cage and I will lengthen as I inhale and I will place my rib cage on top of my knees. I will just even lengthen my neck. I feel right now some tightness in my groin. So as you're feeling some tightness in your groins, just breathe into your groins and just give some time to the body to feel and relax. So we stay there for some time, super soft super connected also with your feet, pushing your feet, squeezing your legs in, and as you exhale, bringing the belly button fully into your body. So we connect the like, main important action. Belly button not all the way down, try to bring it as much as you can into the body, and breathe in your whole back. You're fully lengthening, and slowly come up. We will increase progressively. So the next thing that we will just try to like extend will be hamstring, the back of the legs. I will extend forward my legs. I will bring a belt. I had it over there, so take your time to find your belt. So I will just so round find a belt while I'm just like opening this one. So open your belt because we want to make it quite simple. The belt will help you to reach to your feet. Some of us at the beginning when I was doing yoga, I couldn't even reach my feet. This is very typical. But it's not only because we're not flexible, but we, it's because we don't know how to do it. Most of the time we're doing a flex forward and we say, I cannot reach my toes. Because basically, I need to understand that I have to tilt and bend forward from my hip. Okay? So I will go a little bit back this time. Bring the balls to the side, the, ball, the blocks. Okay, easy. Guys, we make it easy, but we make it really intelligent. Okay, I have my belt. I try to resist the opening of the leg, so I'm pushing my legs away to the side, and I'm using the belt to also access to my shoulders. So I'm pressing the shoulder blades forward, bringing the shoulders away from the ears and widening the collarbones. I'm actively, you can see the difference in the legs. Action, no action. Action, I'm tightening my muscles. I'm creating like a push towards my seat bones and I visualize that I bring my spine into the body. I can even bring my elbows towards my body and squeeze myself and from this, if this will be my starting point. So I know what is a straight spine, I know what is like really strong legs, and as I'm really making my thighs active, I will be able to lengthen my hamstring. So let's do progressively. I will micro bend the legs, and I will start like going forward, flexion, and keeping the sitting bones into the edge of the chair, I will start like focusing on the length of the hamstring. So in all your back, you keep your back straight. Okay, it's there, it's coming, it's coming. Ah, now I feel that the rope got tied, the rope of my tendons in my hamstring. I'm staying there. Okay, I can even 
Always try to find a way to support yourself. Elbows to my knees, this, keep my tights active, and I'm lengthening fully my hamstrings, the back of my legs. I'm lifting on my toes, and I'm using my full body to work for my hamstrings. I breathe, and I give time, guys. This is one of the main features of Ayenga Yoga. We stay for some time in the asanas, and we let the body, the tissues, the flesh, the fascia, to open slowly. Okay, I'm accessing a little bit more. The intelligence is going in. The physical body is reacting. The energy is flowing through the whole body. I can feel that accessing to my mind. Actually, even my voice changed a little bit. And very simple asana, just a forward bend and slowly come up. I felt again that I needed to just relax forward. Sitting bones, feet, aware of the shoulders, lengthening on the neck. We put the head down to soften any tension that we create in the body. We stay there like three breaths. As we exhale, belly button into the body to push myself up. And now we're going to do the same, but in the wall. So as we have, we find a wall, we bring the chair to the side. We're going to be using later. We mentioned before that when we're doing forward bends, when we're doing some flexion, we find tension on the hamstring, tension on the lower back, tension the whole back, even all the way to the shoulders. So how to do it? We're going to take the seat bones, we're going to bend the legs, and we're going to really tilt as much as you can to lengthen the hamstring. And I'm going to place that as much as I can into the wall. I use my hands. As you can see, feet, the center of my feet, in line with the center of the kneecaps, hands into my knees to lengthen the back. This is just an easy way to just basically lengthen your body. So I'm working fully on my hamstring, even though, believe it or not, I'm really feeling my hamstrings now. So I keep on sitting bones up, sitting bones up, heels down, sit bones up, heel down. I keep the legs bended because I really want to isolate the muscle. Now I'm going to the chin. Easy. Chin. Chin. You can use. <coughs> Sorry. You can use blocks. Stay there. Exhale round the back a little bit. Remember the easiness. Inhale up. Exhale. You can round again. Feel how the seat bones move from the wall. And lift up a little bit more the seat bones, extend the arms externally, rotate to bring the shoulders away. Understand all those actions that will help you to increase the connection, soften the shoulders by bringing it up and down. Super nice. Once you feel that you access, you can increase the weight of your body by bending forward as we were doing on the chair. This time, just like bending, holding your elbows and using your arms to pull the rest of the body. Sitting bones, pushing yourself towards the wall, grounding your heels, lengthening. Full exhalation, belly button into the body as much as you can. Softening your face, softening your eyes, and just dealing and dancing with the tension that you feel on the hamstring, visualizing that every time that you exhale, you can melt the tension. Coming back, this time we're going to go all the way up. Let's just take a chair and make it easy. I will put the chair in front of me. We have the blocks here. Why don't we have a chair? Easy. Sitting on up, I can take a little bit time to bend and extend. Bend and extend. Bend. Sitting bones up, and I will bring my hands forward. You will see that this is like a variation to many of the asanas that we do. Basically, down one facing dog is where you will find a lengthening on the spine and a lengthening on the legs at the same time. This is what we will do right now. So from here, I will just open my legs to access easier to the size of the mat, and I will just bend forward. Ah, really nice. Keep on tilting your 
pelvis, as you're bringing the sit bones up, keeping your legs micro-bended, just fall forward. On this one, I just felt that I can bring my hands into a block because in this way, my hands won't go into an internal rotation. So I push the block to really externally rotate fully. Okay, a beautiful action also that I wanna show is grab a belt that you might have already next to you, create a loop with your belt. So I showed before that if you're using your, um, if you're using the block, when you're pushing the block, that will help you to rotate the arm. The more you externally rotate, the more you open in your shoulders. So we're gonna do the same with the belt. Every time we're using a prop, this will give us more intelligence and it will help us access to different parts of our body. No? So the more, for example, with the belt, I'm trying to find the correct length here, so I'm measuring my shoulders. I will keep it right now on my forearms. If I push my forearms, look at the action in the shoulders. I push out and I bring the shoulders out. Easy. So I keep that action and I will just go forward. I really try to open as much as I can my arms to resist the action and to bring the shoulders away from the ears and the shoulder blade forward. I will bring my hands this time here. I have to put it a little bit more back because I'm a bit away. Nice, I can bring it closer. And with the legs bending, you will slowly feel that the time that I had here before, I have here, I feel my hands in opening and opening, opening. I feel that I can bring my sitting bones a little bit more up. Take your time, don't rush, breathe. Less is more, guys. So from here forward, lengthening the back. <sighs> lengthening the legs at your own pace. Beautiful length in the back, beautiful length in the legs. You stay there a few minutes, full external rotation in the arm, full exhalation with the belly button in, especially to release the tension in the lower back, bending the legs, coming back up. And the last thing that I wanna show you is how to do it in the wall. So let's just use the belt in the forearms. Actually, I will put the belt in the elbow, the upper part of the elbow, yes. And I will take a block. Why? This, I want you guys to feel it. Bring a block and bring a belt. So you will try to open the belt and then you try to push with your hands. They will give you such a compact arms to be able to access more to the shoulders. We're going to the wall, guys. So we're gonna be doing the same here. I'm gonna place my forearms and I will go slowly. Same situation, I will just try to like access to my shoulder by really pushing my shoulder blades forward, okay? And from here, I will just try to lengthen. I can bend my legs and I can really bring my sitting bones away from my hands as I'm just bringing my head down. The good thing here is like my forehead can rest in the bell. So I'm really pushing my arms away and my palms towards the block. Now I just felt that the energy and the connection with the shoulder blades was so strong, I can really access there. So we stay there for a couple of breaths. We can even try to extend the legs and we can even go slower down. Slower down, slower down, bending and extending, bending and extending. And eventually, if you already develop that connection and that opening with the shoulder, let's just do it with the hands. From here, I will just move, I felt to move the belt a little bit towards the forearm. Same, full external rotation of the arms, accessing to the shoulder. This is called Arda, which means half Uttanasana, where I will just bend the legs, will go down, will extend the legs, the back of the legs, and will extend fully the, my hand, my arm, and the size of my trunk. The full pose will be 
half of tanasana or are they tanasana? I feel I can really accent and push the thighs back, squeeze the legs in, press the hands to the wall, lengthen fully the sides of the trunk, push the shoulder blades in, and then come back. I really want to finish by taking the chair again and by sitting. Super nice, super easy. Just bend forward. This time I really feel like I want to go back because I want to feel my hamstrings fully supported because I've been working on my hamstrings a lot and I feel them quite tense. So I will just do it in a very relaxed and soft way. So I will just go forward. Everything inside, full exhalation. No so many action because my idea right now will be to relax. And then as I do that, as a coming down asana, I will just finish my work with the beautiful Shavasana using also the chair. Why? Because I want to keep, as I warm up a lot my legs, I want to keep them higher than my body. So remember, lifting up the tailbone, lengthening the lower back, tucking the shoulder blades. I had a block here, I will put it on my belly to really also bring some weight into my lower back. Shoulder blades in. I also found the belt. Remember the guys, it's like, this is the art, the Jenga yoga is the art of using props. I will take the belt, I will put it on top of my eyes. I will take a blanket. I'll put it on top of my chest. <sighs> okay. See you on the next episode. Enjoy your practice, guys. <laughs>